Hey everybody, this is Freddy with LeviathanScuba.com. Don't you just hate when the mask strap grabs your hair? Me too. Just kidding. <laughs> but there are people out there that that is a challenge, right? Well, I have the product that's going to fix it for you. We'll get to that in just a minute. We have had one heck of a week here at Demon. So today we are discovering slap straps, right? This is one of my favorite accessories out there. So what the heck is a slap strap anyway, right? It is a replacement strap for your silicone and or rubber or PVC material, whatever, for your normal mask strap. You can see there the black part is neoprene, kind of like your wetsuit, and the blue part is microfiber. It's extremely soft and it won't grab your hair or anything like that. And then there's a few different types of ways that they mount, whether they're a, a strap, silicone strap, or Velcro. We're going to show you the most popular is the Velcro, okay? And you know that I'm a fan of all things personality, fun, color, images, that sort of a thing, and, and branding. This is just a very small sample. There are hundreds of choices out there. If you just Google slap strap, you can see solid colors. We can make a custom one for you. We can do images. You can actually do photos on them, things like that too. Or there's plenty out there that you can already buy with the photos, right? So. We have dolphins, we have turtles, you have uh, palm trees, all kinds of things to look tropical on your vacation, and then your own favorite sayings, slogans, those kind of fun things. Right? My instructors actually in our shop, all the dive masters, they all have red straps with white lettering, and the dive master says dive master, and the instructors say instructor. So it's something that you can key in, key on when you're diving. You know, when you're following somebody, how do you find them underwater? You're looking at their fin color or, you know, something unique about them, their, you know, the their snorkel. And oftentimes the back of the mask is something that you can key in on. And I even have families that they will all do the same color. And every person in the family has the same mask wrap with the same color. And they look for that underwater and that's how they can find each other. Okay, so the big question really is, why would you use a mask strap? Why would you replace a perfectly good strap that's on your mask already? Well, the answer kind of depends a little bit on who you are. They were invented, really, I believe, to satisfy a challenge where a wet, grippy silicone or rubber mask strap will grab your hair pull your pull on your hair ladies are getting them tangled up in the in the mounting brackets and things like that and it's just very very uncomfortable okay and the, they do always ask us questions what can i do to stop my hair from getting tangled up in things and stuff well this is this is probably the most popular answer to that problem um, but obviously i'm not challenged with that problem so why the heck would i wear them <clears throat> Well, they do provide one function that is very important, and that is because they're stretchy and they're a little bit wider than just a strap across your head, they pr provide the proper tension all the time, every time. Because they're attached or affixed with Velcro, they never slip. So sometimes a um, silicone strap you know, has those little notches that goes through the mask bracket. And when it's wet and you go to put it on, it'll pop a notch. It'll slide through the bracket one notch. Therefore, it loosens a little bit. You got to tighten it, whatever. Once you attach these, they are permanent. I mean, you can undo it and you can readjust it if you made a mistake or it's not the proper tension. But once you attach it, it's not slipping. It's not sliding. And it provides tension every single time. Um, so it's never going to slip. And they're extremely comfortable. That's probably the biggest reason why I use it is I call this a luxury, not a necessity, right? But it is so comfortable on your head. It spreads out the pressure of the strap wide. It really holds onto your head well. And even for people like me that are hair challenged, it's going to be extremely comfortable. Very luxurious feeling on your skin too. So 
So <clears throat> the next part is how. How do you use um, a slap strap? The answer to that really is if you look on the back there, you have the microfiber with the Velcro. Okay, so if you take your silicone strap off and then you're gonna peel the Velcro off of these, okay, and you're going to thread it through the mask strap, uh, bracket, then you're gonna come back and attach it in the exact spot where the tension on the mask for you is perfect, okay? Just the way you like it. Now I wanna share something here. If you notice, this right here stretches in between the Velcro, okay? It, wherever the Velcro is attached, it's not stretchy at all, right? So it's extremely grippy Velcro, very, you can trust it. When we're in the showroom, I let people peel it off for the first time when I take it out of the package because they go, wow, that's strong. I want you to know that it's strong because you only need one inch to one and a half inches here. Anything extra, take some scissors, trim it. Don't worry, it's gonna hold within an inch, inch and a half, if you need some future adjustment until you get it just perfect. But what you don't want, if you have a smaller head, is you don't want that Velcro coming in too far in here because again, it's never gonna stretch wherever it's touching the Velcro. It's not gonna stretch. So you want this to grip your head, okay? <clears throat> there is a different kind you can buy. I'll talk about two other ones that are out there. There, you see how it fits exactly on the back of the head. You can put it in upper, middle, or lower, whatever is comfortable for you. And I'm even going to recommend, if you have the Velcro kind, what, what I did, and it works great, once you get it to fit properly, which that's key, check out our video on how to fit a mask, because 99% of you out there wear your mask too tight, and there are complications because of that, including leaking. So once you get this exactly the way you love it, Every single time, it, you would love it to be the same exact way. My wife actually, for me, she put some stitching in the Velcro here, some black stitching, you can't even see it, and I can't adjust that mask if I wanted to. There's no need for it because I have it perfect. I love it exactly right there, okay? Now, the Velcro wouldn't let go. The only reason that we stitched that is because there's no bracket that holds the Velcro tight together, and so, just to make it a little bit more custom and more secure. We did that. You can see these types here. Now this, you're still gonna have the, the possibility of slipping one of those notches, right, when it's wet. But some people love the comfort for the head and the hair where it's touching, but they, they prefer the silicone normal strap, okay? How about durability? How long do these things last? That, the answer to that question really is simply, how much do you dive? Uh, I dive a lot, perhaps, you know, somewhere around 200 dives a year, sometimes more, sometimes less, but these will last me three years, easy, sometimes four maybe, and I have one on numerous different masks, a different one, so depending on what I use the mask for, but my normal diving, um, I see people that have these that bought them 10 years ago. So it just really kind of depends on, on how you take care of your gear, if you wash it properly. I am gonna talk about something called a wrap also. They do make these, you might be tempted to get one because you find a really cool design or something where they're like a taco. They have Velcro in the inside and you put your silicone strap inside and fold this over and the Velcro hangs onto it. So that part touches your head. I don't sell those. <clears throat> the reason why I don't sell them is it's a great idea, but what normally happens with those is you don't get them super clean enough. They don't peel it off and put it back on after every trip or something like that. So what happens is it traps the salt or the chlorine against the strap and it just really eats up the strap really fast. So I prefer to the ones that actually have the mounting strap on them, not to go on your existing strap, just because they last a little bit longer. So it has become one of my favorite accessories out there. It's fun to recommend this to somebody that's never heard of them before because all of a sudden it fixes their challenge. But then when they get to try it, 
they uh, usually agree that, wow, you're right. Luxurious is a good word to, to use. They're very comfortable and they just feel very nice on your head the way they, they you know, hold on and they stay on. They're not expensive, so if you have multiple masks, it's no big deal. If you are going to go on a trip, uh, we can customize them for you if you like. If you want the name of your shop or if you want the name of a, a, a dive club or even a trip. I mean, there's going to be some setup charges and things like that, but, you know, you can make them custom and, and uh, have fun. Show your personality out there. So one of my favorite accessories and check them out on leviathanscuba.com. Make it a great day. There are way too many products out there to do an in-depth product review on. That's why we do these discovery videos, so we can bring you all the new stuff out there. But if you'll let us know in the comments below which products you'd like to see an in-depth review, we'll get to that just as quickly as we can. And you know how else you can help us? If you hit that like button, it lets us know that you like the content that we're putting in these videos. And if you hit subscribe, then you'll know when the next one comes out. We hope we've helped. Have a great day.